Minnesota. Hello. Sir, Hello. Where are you going? Going to Seattle. To do what? Uh, attending a car show. Attending a car show? Yeah, WEC What's Fest. the car show? WEC Fest. Did you pay to go to it? Yeah. How much was the ticket? $40. $40. Are you showing any cars there or are you just attending? No, just attending. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy. Just like that, you guys, and we're back with another vlog in Seattle. And of course, with me is Mrs. Unscripted herself. <laughs> That's right, you guys. I did drive a Tesla, but no, it's not my wife's Tesla. That one's at home. We flew into Vancouver, and now we drove across the border. No problems at all. Took a little, about 15 minutes, but yeah, not an issue, you guys. So far, the Tesla. Is actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, we're just right now we're at a fast charger, not the fastest one, like a supercharger or whatever, but we're just killing time for like 20 minutes right now. And uh, we're gonna go to Wakefest or you know, Wakefest, right? Wake? Wake, Wakefest, 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 Wakefest. I don't know. I'll, I'll ask uh, one individual that has gone before, he might know what it's how it's pronounced hope you guys are gonna uh, enjoy this vlog let's uh, let's get it started excuse me I'm looking uh, for a youtuber that lives around here do you know where he lives you come to the right place my friend <laughs> I mean see that that looks like a that looks like a youtuber crib how you doing Jack good, good. automotive headquarters Ultra motive. Ultra motive, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, out of all your favorite cars, which one's your favorite one? Ooh, that's always the toughest question. <laughs> I mean, my go-to, I always say like, this car is like the cheat code of them all. I mean, you know, it's it's the new, like. This is probably more one, Yeah, it's, it's one of the new. right? Yeah, it's the, uh, well, it's just, it's the most overpowered. Yeah. Meaning that it literally is way more powerful than the other ones. Um, it's newest. You got all the, you know, nice speakers, infotainment, yeah. luxuries. Um, and it does, it looks really cool. Um, but like, as far as like car that would like actually stay forever with me, like it would be this car. This, one, like, eh? this is, this is like the, the forever car. If I were yeah, to have yeah. any forever car, but, um, but yeah, and it was, it's dirty, but all fresh paint. Yeah. <laughs> Diffuser puts in work. I don't know. Ever since you mentioned this, I've been trying to look for it. And they okay. sold out. Uh, Tuner Colt? Yeah. No way. Sold out. Both, uh, <laughs> both I, myself, <laughs> and uh, Marcos have been trying to get it. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah. There's other ones, but they're, it's not the same. It's right? funny. That just got slapped on there like years ago, and then I just kind of forget. And I don't care. There's like things I care about. I care about like, you know, like visual looks of cars and stuff like that. But like when it comes to like, like plates, add-ons, accessories, like, like I don't have vanity plates for any of my cars. Yeah. I'm just too lazy. And other little things like that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, this is that's from, your from, from the factory. Fresh yeah. badge from the Nismo factory. You're more we gotta go back though. Yeah, we definitely do. So you originally had tint on it, right, Jack? Yeah, well, it came with whatever. <laughs> that is not me. That's just whatever this was on here. You had some purple tint on it, too. Someone, yeah, someone wiped it off. And then the way it came off, oh, the blue. blue. Yeah, the blue yeah so you tried removing stuff. yourself? No, it just has been, it's it's just been, been like, like this. Oh, I get what you're trying to get to. We should get some tint on here for you, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Tint. Well, do you know how to get all this off, though? Yeah, or, yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, I forget, I'm talking to the experts. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely can remove that. <laughs> this car is... Uh, people are like, oh, it looks better in person. But it's also like in person, you could see like all these tiny little imperfections that you would never be able to see yeah, on video. Yeah. Like little like, wrinkles like, yeah. in like the in like the stars they'll put on or like in the wrap. Like little... But you have mentioned you do it all yourself. So is there stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did like the livery right. myself and like just like rubber hit. And then there's other just like track car things, you know, yeah. like it's it's been driven. Yeah. It's been... Drift flat, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's been... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Someone wrapped the car. Someone wrapped the car pink, but I just did delivery. But delivery oh. took some time. Yeah, we definitely get some tint on this for you, Jack. <laughs> this, this, and your. 
Yeah, I probably end up driving this the least now. Ever since I I got a I got a trailer set up, set up to go with the truck. It do, I don't keep it here, but um, yeah. but like you know, once you start doing that, then it kind of becomes a more designated track car because it's streetable, but it's like not as enjoyable to drive as like that car. Yeah. That car feels like a luxury cruiser compared to this car because it's just like it's all drift aligned. It's got a drift seat. Yeah. You see here, Jack. You see how it's starting to uh, it's starting to bubble on you. Mm. So those are telltale signs of like the tint is starting to fail. It's not the tint, it's the adhesive. Yeah, so I'm just curious. I mean, it honestly could have been, like I said, I never touched anything on this yeah. car, and it came with this crit. I mean, this is crazy dark. Yeah. But it came like this, so it's like I don't know if these started forming. Like if these were always there, it, I couldn't tell it, you. No, it'll get it'll get worse, Jack. You probably didn't notice it. Uh huh. But they start to appear because the adhesive starts to separate from the actual. Uh, film in the gla glass itself. Oh. So it will end up being. Have you ever seen those cars on the road where like there's bubbles all over the back of the yeah, 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 yeah. That's eventually what's going to happen. prehistoric time before here and so when that was on I was like I gotta have yeah. Advan wheels to go with the car so therefore I found Advan wheels that were of my liking and obviously the livery's not anymore but I'm gonna still keep rocking I love these wheels to death they're they, yeah they may not be exactly TEs but they're very similar yeah. and I like how I, I'm very big on the like gunmetal on polished lip or I guess these are brushed um, that kind of finish yeah. Thing is so loud you guys probably like his neighbors probably absolutely love him around here <laughs> yeah. not bad not bad no scraping you guys this thing looks pretty sick you guys it's so low to the ground and in person it even looks even like that much better. <laughs> JDM. Uh, it comes. You gotta record it, Chris. <laughs> all that. All that for J all that for uh <laughs> just follow him. Wow, this trip's full of surprises already. I come back to the hotel you guys and everybody's outside and the fire alarm's going off and uh, can't go back into the hotel room so might as well enjoy the Chick-fil-A while I'm sitting outside and waiting you know guys oh, oh there's the fire department coming out here look not sure if uh why you turn the lights you can't turn on the white screen turn off the lights I meant like this car light oh, could you turn off the car light oh. we, you can't see us where are they going I don't know they went somewhere but it's okay you guys I have Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, and some new peach milkshake that's in season right now. So I should, I think I should be okay. The fire alarm just uh, stopped, you guys. So it's okay. I think we can go back in now. But this, this new peach seasonal flavor, pretty fire, you guys. Yeah, try it out. Try it out. Peach, peach milkshake. Mmm. I'm good. I think we can go back in now. I stand corrected. Sorry, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say fire. I should say pretty good. This is awesome. 
Fire is not the appropriate word right now, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> no. No, you can't say the bomb. The bomb's even worse. She's. Oh, my wife's like, oh, we should say it's the bomb. No, 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 no. The bomb is not, not the appropriate. It's even worse than fire. No. Okay. Hopefully, we can go back in, you guys. Make it fire. Yeah. Me no understand why you not here with me Let me take it over for you, girl You've been out searching, searching the wrong place On your mind, only place that I wanna be You define what true beauty is all the way So divine, God must took a long time to make you I know that you've been here before It's different this time You have me on your side Follow me Follow me I go show you the way Follow me Follow me I go show you the way Right off the hop you guys You know it's gonna be a good show Great when you see Mark Wang's Garage Stories Ferrari Just welcoming you right to the show you guys Good spot for this car Mind your words when you talking about my baby I'm out of words every time that she whining for me For me eyes only, body in motion with her eyes only Look at that thing you guys <laughs> Super small, super cute Got even got the air spencer The Honda scene is crazy here, you guys. Like, there's so many Honda builds. Like, just whatever you can imagine, it's here. The show itself is not really super big as I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, but yeah. But you know what? It's indoors. The lighting's pretty awesome. Like, if you want to display your car, this is actually the show to go to. You guys, I'm really digging these uh, Supras. I'm really considering buying one of these guys. This one is actually so clean. Got the stock seats, stock steering wheel, and of course left-hand drive. This is it, you guys. This is a real deal. Oh. All right, guys. This is a pretty sick build. We got the two JZ, or it could be a one J. Because I'm a tint guy, I think it, the tint could do a little better. I don't know if it shows, but yeah, it could do a little better on the tint, you guys. But overall, oh my god, this is nice. All right, you guys, we got some evil love here. This thing is pretty sick. I can't say it enough. I keep on saying sick, but I'm not loving the. Uh, these wheels are just not my taste. Sorry, Marcos. <laughs> Brother, this, this wheel is not very good looking at all. But overall, pretty sick. I do like this st stick shift too. Rear seat delete. Oh, so clean, you guys. This is so clean. I absolutely love this. Nice Datsun. What a clean build. All right, guys. What do you think? This is a nice, super clean build. No. Tell the tell tell the viewers what you thought of this car. No, you tell them. She thought this car belonged in a junkyard. You guys. She thought this car is old and does belong in this. Man, woman doesn't have no taste. Like now she's running away. Like you guys, I love this car. For some reason, she doesn't love it. Just ah, oh, just oh my god, it's so nice, you guys. I'm just drooling all over these cars right now. All right, you guys, so we're like kind of not even halfway through the show yet, but this caught my eye and I really want to show you guys. I want to share with you guys this this car is kind of, well, this van is pretty sick. Look at this thing, guys. 
It looks like, oh, I don't know, like an ice cream box. Ice cream truck. <laughs> this thing is, oh man. Seriously, you guys. He got like the patina look on the inside. All the sound deadening. Happy go lucky. Of course, I love cherry blossoms, you guys. More, more of that soon. I'm gonna surprise you guys. I got something coming, and it just has to do with cherry blossoms. So there's one hood that I always wanted for the 35, but I just wasn't really 100% sure on it. But now that I have it, like I see it in person here, I'm gonna show you guys. This is what I kind of wanted. All right, so. It has a little bit of R34 with, you know, on an R35. And of course it's carbon fiber. And I believe this one is made by Saibon. And I was, the plan was I was gonna paint it all black to match the car, but leave this exposed. But seeing it in person, I don't know. It's just, I don't know about the fitment. Saibon, I don't know, man. It's just not my biggest fan of it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, you guys. Definitely, you guys, leave a comment below. Do you think this is a pretty sick hood or it just, it's an A or yay, you guys? Let me know. This is pretty cool where you can see this car on the internet all the time and now I get to see it in person. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not one for like body kits or anything like that, but you can appreciate it. Definitely like the green carbon. And now I finally get a chance to see the Cusco cage. Just kind of makes me want to put mine in uh, a little more now. And I uh, want to get home and, and uh, get it installed for you guys. I know it's well overdue to, uh, to install this uh, roll cage in the car, but the only thing stopping me, you guys, is that I have to cut the rear panel. And that's just the only thing that's stopping me. But yeah, it's well overdue to do the install. Now this is super clean, you guys. I dig this. This is the way it's. Hey. I'd love to do one of these, you guys. Big ass turbo. love these mirrors you guys I could probably change out the stop tech I would do something else endless or a project new yeah I don't know look at that big ass turbo you guys I was looking for one of these two you guys for the next build and uh, EK9 is really hard to get really hard to get right now you guys it's just uh, for like an actual genuine with the red seats and the red carpet and you know, the red cards uh, there's a lot of fake ones out there and you know, they're, they're hard to get right now like they're really super expensive everything's getting all driven up now like any any kind of car you want that is a JDM or hard hard to get by it is I don't know it's, it's, right now is probably like the time to get a car if you really want to get one I just don't see the prices coming down. So if you contemplate on getting something, I would get it now, you guys. Woo! I like this one, you guys. Oh my God. This is super clean. You got the little teddy bear. I can't remember, it's Japanese. Oh man, you guys, love it. Got the work wheels. Engine bay could be a little cleaner, but you know what? Still like it, you guys. So I think this uh, anime or hente livery is starting to catch on, you guys, because it's, uh, it's well, I, see, I keep on seeing a lot of it here up in North America. I like this part here, you guys. This, is, this stands out for me. I love that. What about those two guys? Do you like those? Those are pretty nice. Lucky Cat and the Rising Sun. Yeah. 
not much. Simple, simple RB26. This is cleaner. This is the one that was featured on Dustin Williams. So. You love your sequential gear block, don't you? You have a GTR, that's a must. That's a must, right? Wow, too expensive. <laughs> too expensive. What are you talking about? <laughs> so much money, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> what can I say you guys wake fest is sick you guys I highly recommend going to one of those shows if you guys have never been obviously that was my first time and on top of that hanging out with Jack ah, going to his house is just super awesome you guys it's cool cool definitely a cool experience definitely going to go again next year I might even take the, the GTR like I'm gonna spend more road time on it and yeah that would be just pretty epic to take that out do a whole road trip down to Vancouver out to Seattle do wake fest and yeah it's just gonna be sick I'm looking forward to that you guys and uh, I'm going to go to wake fest LA uh, I'm playing it right now you guys is Seattle was awesome and I think LA is going to be even better you guys uh, I want to say a huge thanks to Jack Ultramotive and Charles Wong for their hospitality and Jack thanks again for letting me hang out with you guys at your house and it was just awesome um, for you guys hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and continue watching hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't and we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog see ya yeah.